Okay. Jay Christopher Collins is the founder of Bridging the Divide Project at Glide Memorial Methodist Church, which is actively creating opportunities to heal division in our community. Jay Christopher Collins, get on up here. The taste of life, calories to earn, to burn them off a hot night living. My sister and I stormed into the house like TV crime drama detectives. Someone did this on purpose. They're going to pay. Lindsay and I had just returned from a walk with our dog through our beloved neighborhood park to find it in a mess. Someone had scattered garbage everywhere. We loved taking our dog here, but on this day, it had been ruined by someone else. Today, as we look at life across America, we see a mess. And regardless of your political party, regardless of what issue you find most important, we all agree that we find ourselves standing in a mess, one that was caused by someone else. And every four years, we hear, it's time to take our country back. We can restore the American dream. Presidents, they come and they go, and these promises are unmet. Our frustration morphs into contempt, and our contempt morphs into hatred. We are a deeply divided country. Well, about half an hour after Lindsay and I returned home from the park, we realized there's really nothing that we could do, and we were just overwhelmed by our outrage. <laughs> the feeling of righteousness was replaced with hopelessness. But about that time, I look out the window and saw my father in the driveway, dumping sacks of garbage from the park into our trash bin. And the only thought I could muster in that moment was, oh, right, yeah, that, that's an option too. <laughs> While I stood on a soapbox and planned a righteous crusade for retribution, our dad was just cleaning it up. We were all talk, but my dad, saying nothing, did the only thing that would truly help the situation. And yes, ladies, I still own these sandals. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson that day that took years for me to fully realize, and that is that if we see a mess, it's within our power to clean it up. And today we stand in a big mess, and it's my responsibility and yours to do what needs to be done. Today, extreme partisanship desires political victories over everything, including finding solutions to problems. Today, difference of opinion is not reflected of your values. No, if you disagree with me, it's because there's something wrong with you. In response to this toxic environment, I, with some other wonderful people started a project at Glide Memorial Church called Bridging the Divide. <laughs> Glide Church, if you're not aware, is a special place. Located here in the Tenderloin, people from all over the world visit Glide on Sunday morning to experience a community of radical love and to listen to the gospel music of the Glide Ensemble. It's a spiritually Christian church, but Jews, Buddhists, agnostics, and atheists also call, call Glide home. It's home to many people, gay, straight, bisexual, trans, black, white, Latino, Asian, housed, homeless, high, and sober. In our divided times, Glide is a beacon of hope. So it was here at Glide, this radically inclusive place, that bridging the divide was born. Born to confront the epidemic of division, political, racial, class, and religious division. division. And that's what we've been doing for more than two years. Sometimes it's really energizing, and sometimes it's really hard. And because these conversations can be so hard, as a society, we often just outright avoid them. But I'd like to share with you some of what I've learned from the people who have courageously engaged with Bridging the Divide over the last two years. First, the challenging nature of these conversations is actually what is healing about them. The challenge is what begins the healing, 
And when our comfort zones are disrupted, we get the gift of clarity, of depth. But most importantly, we get to hear ideas straight from the source rather than making assumptions based on false narratives. Second, we must stretch our tightest muscles. Maybe you've said, I'm not seeing my family anymore. It's too painful. Neglect worsens this condition. Where you're triggered, where there's pain, that's where we can heal. That pain needs our loving attention. Third, people can change. But our downfall is when we expect people to change. If we're expecting people to change, we're not bridging any divides. We are just debating. And a debate is nothing more than a trap that says, for me to win, you must lose. Fourth, civility is not the goal. Civility can be misused as a censoring tool. Bridging the divide is not about shutting down someone's anger. It's about creating the environment that these words can be spoken face to face and most importantly, be heard. I try to be a healer of division in my community. But as a white straight male, I must honor the fact that people different from I have had painful experiences, experiences that I've never felt and will never feel. Let's hear about those experiences without shutting down the emotions that they bring up. Why do this work? Well, I was recently told by numerous participants in Bridging the Divide, because it's calming. Imagine that. This is available to us. We can do this as a community, and our ripple effects, our joint efforts, no matter how small, will make a difference. Let's bridge the divide because we, America, remain the greatest hope on earth for expanding the boundaries of freedom and equality. The American experiment is worth fighting for, it's worth being uncomfortable for, and it's my responsibility and yours to do what needs to be done to heal our country. Thank you, Chris. What Chris is doing, what a lot of people in that group are doing is totally wonderful and awesome. And if you had any type of inkling or tingling, listening to all of that, you should totally go up to him afterwards and ask him more about how you can become involved with it because it's great. I'm a part of it. It's awesome. Um, next up.